Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will continue my conversation about the time series analysis within the Python. If you have seen my previous video, uh, it was about how you can bring the data into the Python notebook and then perform some operations like uh, plotting the visualiza uh, visualization like this chart, line chart or the bar chart and uh, how you use the resampling method to convert a uh, daily time series into let's say monthly quarterly or yearly so in this video i will talk about how you can model the time series using the arima method which is a very popular method and we will look at its component like uh, auto regressive ar component ma component and referencing component the three component which are necessary to identify and the parameters are called ptq I know it is a lot and uh, I have explained in one of my previous videos related to the R about its theory where within the R programming I showed you how you can uh, or how you need to interpret these three different terms the autoregressive, the differencing and the moving average. So uh, I will not repeat that uh, if but if you are looking for that theory uh, you can uh, go back into that video and uh, it's like uh, the last fourth or fifth video which I have produced within the time series in R. Uh, but if you did not find it, please put it your question in comment and I will give you the link. All right. Uh, so first thing is uh, taking since it is a daily time series, uh, what I'll do is to reduce the time series. I will produce a quarterly time series nifty underscore Q. And uh, what I can do is I can say nifty nifty dot resample and then I want quarterly and I just need the average quarterly index number and I will produce the head let's say so here I have the quarterly numbers uh, for the first five observations and uh, now I can go ahead and identify the uh, AR term the P term so generally the ARIMA model so I'm just giving you a, a, a basic syntax about what it is P and D and Q so P term is basically the AR term uh, which says integrate uh, order regressive and what it means is basically we need to figure it out the ACF function with the help of ACF function we need to see which term we need to take so we will see it in a moment how to see autocorrelation function the acf uh, d is basically the differencing uh, represent the item so basically what it means is if you if your series is having a trend component then you would like to make it stationarized that means remove the trend or seasonal component out of it and for that you use the differencing the d that means uh, subtracting the current term from the previous term let's say for example so for one or subtra subtracting the current term from last second term so second order differencing third order differencing so on and so forth q is nothing but the uh, moving average so that we identify with the help of the partial autocorrelation function the PACF all right we will see these things in action so first thing is we need to uh, import the appropriate library and uh, that is from pandas dot tools dot plotting import autocorrelation plot all right let's import that and uh, then let's say autocorrelation plot and pass on the nifty underscore Q after that we need to show the plot so for that we need to import one more library from matplotlib import pyplot and then we will say pyplot dot show so it is uh, giving us an error by plot dot show is not defined even though it has gone ahead and uh, produced the series for us over here so 
let's just check why it is saying that the pipe plot is not defined because uh, from here we have imported the library let's see if it is because we need to specify this parameter percentage mat plot lib inline to show the plots inline from mat plot lib import pipe plot yeah now it is not showing so it's basically this particular parameter that we need to specify uh, to generate the plots all right i think we are good here so what it is uh, doing but before that if it is like really small for you and you need to change the size what you can do is uh, there is a parameter called figure size uh, within the show method so if you press shift tab tab so it gives you these arguments different arguments by which you can increase the figure size just an idea idea i wanted to give you so uh, on these 40 different flags it has plotted the autocorrelation function and intuitively we can say that uh, these are the critical boundaries that line which you are seeing over here and it is saying that somewhere around uh, after five somewhere around six uh, the plot is uh, coming within the critical boundaries so the parameter the first parameter we need to take for the p is six in this case or seven probably and that is some sort of experimenting we need to do when we are defining the parameter so that's first thing identifying the parameter so if we can say p value p value can be six or seven or even we can say five or six or seven we can experiment because somewhere around that after this boundary it is coming down there so we need to experiment with that and after that we can uh, we need to do div for differencing we can specify one or two maximum generally uh, when you will become an experienced into the arima you will see that it is not going beyond one or two very rarely it will go beyond that so with one or two you will see the experimenting or with zero probably and the third thing we need to do is the partial autocorrelation um, for the arima and for that we need to from stat models dot graphics dot tsa plots import plot underscore pacf after that just specify the argument which is nifty plot underscore pacf nifty underscore q and let's say we need 20 legs like here we have 40 legs control enter and here we can see that uh, there are just two legs which is going uh, beyond or beyond this critical range so we can say uh, the finally the q value is two so we can experiment between uh, the p value which is five six seven the value of q which is two and uh, d can be the zero one or two it should not be zero for sure because if there is a trend component which is available in the nifty L, nifty series okay so after that uh, we need to import arima from the stats model so let's do that so from stat stats model dot t time series analysis dot arima a or arima underscore model from this let's import arima and then go ahead uh, to import with this model arima model and then let's get the model as uh, arima and uh, specify the parameter nifty underscore q that is a series and we need the order which is let's start with the five comma one comma two let's go ahead and create that so it's saying order is not defined let's see why it is maybe because uh, we need to specify equals to here let's go ahead all right that's the right way and after that we need to 
we have identified the model now let's go ahead and fit the model which is model underscore fit is equals to fit model dot fit disp equals to zero so if it is negative or we don't specify anything then by default it will take zero or one that means if there are any errors it will show us if it is negative one or something negative value and it will not show us anything we can even leave it without this you can go in and press shift tab tab to see the entire description related to this and let's press Control enter it generally gives us the error if it is not finding the proper parameters or there is some issues with the transparent uh, with the convergence of the uh, parameters that we are specifying so for that uh, what you can do is play a little bit about with the parameters so let's say we are going ahead with the order 511 maybe and again specifying the parameter now it has just give us a little bit as i mentioned convergence uh, warning but we can go ahead and see uh, its fit summary of this parameter so that's basically the idea that you need to play a little bit around this make it like zero or one or two or make it like this six and then specify it so for now i will just change it to five comma one comma one so this this is an important thing and you need to probably i'll cover it in a separate video uh, about convergence warnings when it gives us and what what you need to do to tune it but for now i'll just go ahead and show you how it will show you the summary and uh, how we can do the residual analysis which is important for the uh, understanding whether the model is producing the right behavior or not so next thing we can do is we can fit print the uh, summary model underscore fit dot summary and the parenthesis so after that you get a detailed arima model analysis where it gives you this main information which is aic criteria bic criteria based on which i have already explained this in my previous videos so i'll not probably explain it again and uh, the different AR terms based on this real imaginary modulus frequency and then here coefficient and their respective Z and P value within 95% degree confidence level but the main information whether the model is right or not we get it from the residual analysis so let's see how we can do that so it is nothing but model dot fit dot residuals see this here it is it's a series that you have and we need to just convert it into a data frame so what we can do is we can from uh, pandas we can import data frame and uh, create a variable residuals is equals to data frame model underscore fit dot residuals and then we can uh, plot the residuals residuals dot plot all right data frame okay here also so here you have the residual plots that means the error uh, the actual minus predicted and it is showing us some sort of little bit of trend that indicates that we need to little bit fine tune our model to change the parameter let's say maybe ar value to six or maybe we need to increase the differencing but it indicates little bit of trend if you see that should not be the case it should be constant like this so that's the first thing you can identify about the model the next thing is uh, the normal plot or the KDE plot. So that indicates residuals dot plot kind is equals to KDE. And uh, 
it indicates that values are normally distributed but little bit skewed towards the right if you see it is a bit, little bit tilted towards this side so that also indicates that uh, though it is uh, very near to the normal but a little bit skewed so some sort of parameter tuning is required for ar differencing and uh, the, the ma term and then finally what you can do is you can uh, print the summary of residuals dot describe method and the mean which is away from the zero clearly indicates that the model has uh, some sort of deficiency and it needs to be removed so that mean can be reached to zero or very close to the zero so that's how uh, you can create the arima model with its p d q and term i have explained you over here about uh, these p d q terms from these different charts how you can take it from the acf uh, you can experiment with the differencing with the 0 1 or 2 maximum probably and then with the partial autocorrelation you get the q value which is 2 you can experiment with 1 or 2 and then finally how you can uh, fit the arima model from by taking it from the stats model package and specifying the order so this ordering needs to be experimented and uh, that you can basically check on which model you are getting the error the main thing uh, which is not covered here is on the convergence warning so probably i'll take it on a, a separate video because it's a little depth in that topic and uh, we will see how we can see all of these errors and fine tune it and probably we can cover uh, both convergence warnings and uh, fine tuning of the parameters so that's all for now